Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and today we're going to be doing a mid-year series check-in. So at the beginning of this year, I did a series check-in where I just went over all of the series that I had that I was not caught up in and I went over the ones I was caught up in too, but we were mostly focusing on the ones that I was not caught up in and I said that I wanted to get that number down to two ongoing series. And this is going to be the check-in for that. I will just say, I don't really count interconnected standalone series towards that two numbers. I did put them on this list and I did put them on the last list just so you know like where I'm at with those series and so that I know. But I'm not counting those as like the I want to be down to two series in that number because I don't really need to remember what happened in the last book. And I'm only counting books that have like a continuous plot that I need to remember. So with that said, let's jump into it. The first series that I talked about in that video was the Addicted Calloway Sisters series. And I had read like three books at that point, I think. And I had said in that video that I wasn't loving the series and that I was going to get up to Hot House Flower. And if I didn't like Hot House Flower or didn't love Hot House Flower, I was going to DNF the series. I did, in fact, read up to Hot House Flower and I didn't love it. And I haven't loved any of the books in the series. So I decided to DNF that series. So that series I'm done with and I don't need to count it anymore. The next series I talked about was Throne of Glass. So I had said that I had read Throne of Glass, I think in 2020, and I just never continued on with the series. I didn't love that book very much, and I hadn't heard that much about it at the time, where like now I know everyone says you need to give it a chance longer than the first book. So I just never continued on with the series. But I said in that video, I wanted to read the series this year, so I needed to reread Throne of Glass because I didn't really remember that much and then keep going. I actually just reread Throne of Glass and now I'm reading Crown of Midnight. So I still have that series on my list, but I am currently working towards it. So I'm on Crown of Midnight, so I have a long way to go. It's a long series, but I am working on that one. So I'm still currently reading that one. And then I had the War of Lost Hearts trilogy that I talked about, and that is by Krista Brabin. And I only had the last book left to read and I made it about halfway through that last book and I ended up DNFing it. I just could not care less anymore about the story. It is extremely political and there was not much romance happening and I just did not care about it anymore. And I feel really bad saying that because I love Chris Broadbent and I loved that first book so, so much, but I just couldn't do it anymore. It's a really long book. I was only halfway through and I was listening to it on audio and I kept like zoning out because I just didn't care. And so I didn't really know what was going on anymore. So I decided to DNF that series. So it's sad, but that series is on my off of my list now. So then I have the Magnolia Parks universe. And I, at that time, had only read the first two. I have since read the third book, but I still have to read the last book. So that series, I did make progress in, but it is still on my series list that I need to fit, get caught up on. So Daisy Hates 2, I still need to read. Then I had From Blood and Ash. So I read the first From Blood and Ash book and was obsessed with it. I loved it so much. My most annotated book, I just fell in love. And then I read the second book and I was like, okay, that was okay. Nothing like the first book, but okay. And then I started reading the third book and I was just, no, I couldn't do it anymore. I don't know. I've never seen a series take such a nosedive in my whole entire life. So I DNF that series. Um, it's really sad because I loved that first book so, so much, but the rest of the series, I just couldn't do. And I heard it just gets worse. So I don't really want to waste my time. They're really long books. It's a really long series. And that series I'm done with. So then some series that are interconnected standalones. Uh, one of them was The Devil Series by Elizabeth O'Rourke. I had read two books and I still needed to read two more. I have read those two books, so I'm completely caught up with that series. I think it's over, so I'm finished with that series. So yay for that. And then the next series is the Red Zone Rivals series. And I think this is the only series that I haven't made any progress in. I still really want to read those last two books. I have two more left. I just heaven um I did just get the audiobook though for the third one so I will be reading that soon I just read 
uh, Meet Your Match by Candy Steiner. The Red Zone Rival series is by Candy Steiner. And I just read Meet Your Match, which is her new hockey book and her new hockey series. And I really, really liked it. So it made me want to go back and read those last two books even more. So like I said, I bought the audiobook. So hopefully I'll get to that soon. Yeah, no progress in that. And some series that I caught up in, I've read all of the books that are out. They're not finished series though, but I am caught up in them. Most recent Finley Donovan book came out and I read that when it came out. And now I'm all caught up in that series. I think there's going to be more in that series, but like I said, I'm all caught up now. The same thing with the Wayward Children series by Shannon McGuire. The uh, most recent book came out in January, so I read that. And I'm all caught up in that series. And then Chestnut Springs, there was two releases that have come out. And I read them both and I'm caught up and just waiting for the last book to come out. So yes, I have made a lot of progress since that last video. When I look at it, I still have Throne of Glass that I'm reading, The Red Zone Rivals, Magnolia Parks, and that's it from that video. And Magnolia Parks and Red, uh, nope, Magnolia Parks and Throne of Glass. I would count towards the two series that like I don't want more than two going so I feel like those count for that but the Red Zone Rivals are interconnected standalone so I feel like that is a little bit different but yeah so three series still going from that and some DNFs and some finished. So some new series that I have since started and am not caught up in since that video are the Zodiac Academy series. I have read books one through three and book four is on my TBR for this month. And I'm really, really enjoying that series. I just kept seeing it everywhere and like people talking about it all the time. And I just was really in the mood for it one day. And I picked it up and the first book was decent. And then I picked up the second book and I really, really liked it. And then I picked up the third book and I loved it. So I'm just having a good time with that series. And it's a really long series and they're really long books so I mean definitely not going towards my goal of only having two series going at once but I'm having a good time with it so Zodiac Academy I am currently reading and Boys of Toman I have read the first three books in that series and I am currently reading the fourth book right now so I am almost caught up with it I am 15% into Redeeming Six so I'm making some good progress in that those books are also extremely long but i hope to finish it soon then we have the bargainer series by laura thalassa i just have the last book to read and the audiobook for that book actually comes out today so i'm gonna grab that and finish it up real fast and then that series will be off of my list and then i also started the dreamland billionaire series which is an interconnected standalone so doesn't count as much in my opinion but I've only read the first book so I have the second two books to read for that and then I want to talk about some series that I have started and finished or gotten caught up on since that video so the first one is the cruel prince series I have started and finished that series so that is three books I also read both novellas so did that then the Vampire Academy series. I don't know why I didn't add this to that vi that old video because I was still in the middle of reading that series. I must have just forgot about it. I don't really know. But I think I had read three books by the time I filmed that, filmed that video. So I have since finished out the series. And I think it's like six books. Maybe it's seven. I think it might be six. But yeah, so I'm done with the Vampire Academy series. Um, I then read the These Hollow Vows duet, so that's two books, and I read those back to back and finished that up really fast. I also read the Inheritance Game series, it's like a YA kind of mystery series. I read all three of those books, so finished with that series. Same thing with Carval, that's a YA fantasy, and I am all finished with that series. I just binged those books back to back. Um, and then Crowns of Nyaxia by Carissa Brabin. I have read that series. I'm caught up in that. There will be four more books. There's only two out now and a novella. And I have read those. I'm caught up in that. And then Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. There's two books out and I've read both of them. And the last book comes out soon. So that is exciting. Fourth Wing, which there's only one book out in that, but it is part of a series. So I added it to this list because the next one comes out, I think, in November. 
So that is all of the series that I have started, finished, DNF'd, gotten caught up on. So I have seven series. I'm pretty sure in that last video I had nine series. So it doesn't seem like we're making that much progress. But I mean, like we've talked about, I have made some progress and I've just started too many series since then. But I want to try to trim this number down even more before the end of the year. I've also, like I said, started and completed a lot of series in that time. So it's not like I'm doing terribly with not reading series. So that's all for this check-in. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video and I will talk to you again soon.